madman was loose on the moors and the police were just warning me about him. I camped up there anyway. <laughs> Hi guys and welcome to Dartmoor. I'm finally back out. It's been over two months since I've uh, had a chance to get out for a while. The uh, last time you would have seen me would have been up on uh, Watson Tour on Wade Mark. And uh, yeah, that's when I had that uh, new Nordic tent which fell on me. Um, so yeah, so what happened there? Um, I got my money back, which I was expecting anyway, um, and I've replaced it. And uh, yeah, so you'll find out what that is a bit later on. Um, it's been sat at home for about five weeks now, doing nothing, just staring at me. And I've been itching to get out. So uh, where am I? Uh, I am. At, uh, well, I've just parked up at Prince Town and the plan is to head to Sheep's Tour for a world camp tonight. I want to go through uh, Drizzle Coombe, I want to check out uh, Ditsworthy Warren and there's um, Stone Rosa as well, so I'm going to go find those. I've uh, got a few new bits of kit as well. One of them is the pack that I'm wearing and uh, new stove, yeah, a couple of little bits. So, uh, yeah, I'll talk to you about those later. So, it's over in the distance, we've got Burrator Reservoir and just to the left, Sheep's Tour, which is where I'm heading tonight. But obviously, I'm going in this direction, so I'll be following this track for a bit and going right the way around. Well, that's where I'm heading to tonight. It's got to uh, Nuns Cross Farm. And uh, it's just started drizzling a bit. No rain is forecasted today, but this is Dartmoor. I've got Ellie. She's uh, got a nice winter coat coming on, so She's ready for some winter camping. Loving it as, as always. <laughs> Good to see. She can't go in a straight line. Just literally, she cannot go in a straight line. <laughs> so I've come off that track now because I think that's the I don't know if the camera will be picking up but I think that's the stone row over there in which case Ditsworthy Warren will just be behind it I like checking out the stone rows and the stone circles so uh, yeah I'll take you on over and we'll have a, have a good old look Yeah, so it's not the stone row, this is actually higher Hartor, but from a distance, these actually did look, well, yeah, kind of did from a distance, but um, I had a look at the map, and then if I head down that pathway, I should, uh, I should get to the uh, stone row then.
Welcome back guys. Well, I'm pitched up on top of Sheep's Tour, as you can see. There's uh, the reservoir. And uh, the fog is uh, started rolling in. And I just thought I'd give you a quick uh, look at the kit as well, because I don't really do that much. So if you, as you've already guessed, new tent, Hilly Bird Acto. I didn't buy this new. I got this uh, second hand. I got quite a good deal with it. So uh, yeah, I went down the second hand route in the end. It's in great condition. So the yeah, kit quilt I've not got now for this time of year. So I've gone to the um, the Rab Neutrino sleeping bag, Firmarest X Firm underneath. Uh, as a lot of you may know, the little pooch here, she doesn't like lying on the roll mat I give her or, or the woof tub. So, uh, how's everyone? She refuses to lie on anything, and I don't just like her lying on the ground. So what I've done, and she doesn't know, is just underneath there, I don't know if you can see that, I've put a cut, the z light mat that I've cut down that I have normally in a woof tub, and I've put that underneath. So hopefully she's going to lie on that and not know she's lying on it. But I'll let you know how that works, but I bet it doesn't. Um, clothes bag in here, my pillows, I haven't got that much clothes, that's actually um, my pillows in there as well. Um, that's Ellie's towel. In here is um, just toothbrush, um, hand sanitizer, uh, you know, stuff like that. This one is Ellie's food and her snacks. That's my little kilt. I had to use that today in the end. That worked really well. Very impressed with that. It's the first time I've used it. Natural bag. Just a power pack and leads and uh, my head torch and whatnot. Uh, that's obviously the um, what the Acto was in. Food bag. <coughs> Um, not all my food, it's just uh, my meals and um, coffees in there. A mug shop if I get a bit extra, you know, hungry. Uh, spoons in there. Uh, yeah, so my meal tonight and my breakfast, mug shop, coffee. It's the, uh, you may have seen some drone footage. It would have been bad, um, but yeah, first time using it in there, that's the DJI Spark. This is a new um, cook kit I've got. So it's an Alp kit 650. That's the alcohol stove burner just on top. And I've, inside I've got my mug as well for my hot drinks. <coughs> and in this, uh, this little pack, this goes with my cook set, so windshields in there I've got some two lighters uh, some silver foil and uh, some meths as well <coughs> um, what else have I got so the usual soya Ellie's bowl I've got another little sit mat because obviously my other sit mat hopefully Ellie's going to be using um, I've got some more snacks in that pocket and some tie back just in case I needed it. Uh, that's my filtered water, just in there. Uh, sorry, uh, unfiltered water. That's filtered water in this pocket. The, the new pack has performed really well today. I'm really happy with it. It's a, a Granite Gear Verga 2. It's safe. Uh, 54 litre, it's frameless <coughs> and I use um, 
Ellie's uh, Z Light pad, which is under there, as um, I put that down the down the back for just some support. Over the years, I've had uh, four framed packs, and every single one I've had. They've been good ones, but every single one I've had, they just cause so much trouble with my shoulders. My shoulders hurt a lot within about 15, 20 minutes of walking. So uh, I bought the, um, as you probably know, last year I bought the, the MLD Core, which is frameless. Uh, it's only 28 litres, so it's fine for summer, um, but no good for this time of year when I want to take um, a lot more gear. So that always worked really well for me um, so I thought well, I'd risk it and go out and buy another frameless a bigger pack obviously and today it's been absolutely brilliant I've no no issues with my shoulders it just the frame for some reason I don't know if there's anyone else out there has problems with framed packs but they just don't work for me. I've tried four now over the last eight or nine years and none of them work I've still got the Osprey Exos 38 is for sale if anyone wants it. Um, drop a you know a comment if, if anyone is interested. I was looking at 60 quid, which includes postage. Uh, I think that's a pretty good deal. It's in great condition. Um, if anyone wants any pictures of it, get in contact me. Send me your email. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I mean that's about it. <coughs> Walkproofs. I've got my walkproof jacket on. Obviously, so I'm going to dry Ellie down now. Get her in. Um, I'm going to get some cooking on the go. Um, if anything interesting happens, I'll come back to you. But um, if not, um, I shall see you in the morning. Now it's supposed to be wet in the morning. I'm going to come in and go out a different way. Probably going to drop off the res. As I came in this way, um, I'm going to go out that way back down to the reservoir and just follow the road up and then you can get back on the moor and follow the leet I think back um, towards Princetown good morning guys um, just getting the uh, stove set up my second coffee <coughs> Um, it's Prince Town Mast over there. Couldn't see that last night. It was quite foggy. Uh, yeah, time is quarter past seven. I've started packing up. Well, I've got the sleeping bag and roll mat packed up. There's Ellie. She had no choice really but to sleep on that Z Light mat last night. So that's good. I'm happy about that. Really calm this morning. Slept well. Um, I woke up. I woke up about midnight, and then again at 4:30, and I was up then. Had a coffee, and then uh, properly got up at quarter to seven. Got out, started packing up. Yeah, so I'm just getting another coffee on the go. Don't really fancy any breakfast. Um, so. Uh, just have like a, I've got a couple of like protein bars and stuff. I'll probably just have one of those. But yeah, it was a really nice night. It rained. Well, when I woke up at 12, it was raining and it was raining again at half past four. So I think it rained most of the night. Stopped now, luckily. But we are due some rain again a bit later this morning. So I thought I'd get packed up early and, and, uh, and, and head on back. been sat enjoying these views before I go the bags all packed now so uh... right guys that's uh, that's me all packed um, obviously the area is all nice and clean and tidy that's just where I was last night um, there's the pack that's all packed up and ready brilliant pack I really like that really like it, it 
like I said yesterday, I had no issues with it hurting my shoulders, like I do with framed packs. Um, I don't know why, I just can't get them right. They don't, they don't work for me. So it's frameless packs for me now. And that, that's going to give me years of, uh, years of good service. That is really, really great pack. Um, yeah, I was going to head over to Levator. I don't know whether a, there is a, because I, I, I came in from that direction and basically walked all the way along that ridge yesterday all the way over to, from Princetown but there is a pathway you probably can't see it on the camera that runs straight across there I am thinking of maybe taking that it's Ellie taking a wide berth around the cows she hates the cows she gets so scared of them <laughs> Bless her. She's gone. Up. She. <laughs> she does. She gets so scared of them. It's nice to see the uh, bracken all change colour now. All the greens are turning to browns now, or turn to brown. You get so scared of those cows, don't you? No, they're gone. It's fine. Come on then, let's go. <laughs> hey, we've got sheep's tour in the distance which is where I camped last night. It's a nice tour to camp on actually. It's becoming one of my favourites I think. I don't know if you remember but my last camp there, last year, is when that um, madman was loose on the moors and the police were just warning me about him. Turned out, I don't know if, don't know if any, of, any of you remember that, but I camped up there anyway. <laughs> um, but it turned out he wasn't there in the end. He, he, they found it, well, he may have been, but a couple of days later they found him apparently a church in Cornwall. Probably haven't got a clue what I'm going on about, but if you go back and watch my last camp I did on Sheep's Tour, Somewhere last year. Just found my way back onto the track, or a track, and uh, just spotted this in the distance. Not sure what this was. There's nothing on the map to say what it was. Yeah, so uh, I had to swap the fleece for my rain jacket because that rain came in as promised. I've got to say, I'm uh, really impressed with this kilt, this rain kilt. I don't know if you can see that. I got it back on um, a couple of miles back because it started raining quite heavy. And soft shell trousers are good in showers, but they do wet out eventually. If you pair this up, with either some soft shell trousers like I've got on or um, some gaiters you know you're 100% waterproof and yesterday it was quite blowy when I had it on and I didn't have any problems with it blowing about uh, I'm quite tall so I take quite big steps and it's not you know it's not restricting me from uh, from taking big big steps or climbing over boulders or whatever you got to do. So, gentlemen, don't be afraid. Get yourself a, uh, a rain kilt. You might look a bit silly. My buddy Tim from Viking Outdoors has one, and I did take the piss out of him once or twice for for wearing it. But uh, 
it packs down as I shown you yesterday half the size of my hand it weighs about 50 grams it's just silly not not to have one I bought it back in the spring last year and I took it on the two moors way which I didn't need to use it in the end and I've it's just been at home and I've not used it so I thought I'd give it a go I forget the um, make of it now but I'll leave the link to it in the description um, I've got it from Ultralight Outdoor Gear I think or something like that um, I'll leave you the link if you want to have a look at it right then guys I'm going to end the vlog here I'm almost back in Prince Town it's got the last bit of the track to do it's been a, a great camp um, really enjoyed it uh, testing out some new gear as well this granite gear pack in particular has just been absolutely brilliant um, like I said yesterday I can't get on with framed packs it's not the pack it's, it's me for some reason and uh, this works really well I've had no discomfort at all over the last couple of days with this it's important to have um, the right gear when you're out here there's no point coming out here and um, not having gear that you enjoy using uh, you want to make it as comfortable as possible and all the packs I've had in the past apart from that MLD core pack um, I've not uh, walked in my eye uh, it's quite drizzly now and that's been for quite a while yeah um, apart from that core um, I've never enjoyed any pack I've had um, so yeah it's important to have the right gear that works for you so at least I found a, a pack now that I can use in the winter um, and be comfortable so I'm going to sign out like I said now GoPro battery is really low anyway Ellie signing out house I'm going to say goodbye come on come on bath time for you bath time bath time bath time <laughs> definitely a bath for you when you get home and a bath for me not together because that would be weird anyway I'll see you on the next one guys thanks thanks very much for watching cheers brother let's call it in the crossfire let's call it in the crossfire